So here we have a top view um, of the work plan um, for this uh, ventilator. Um, and we're going to dig down into this particular step. This particular step has four different uh, uh, operations. Um, and we're going to create the work instructions for those four operations. So you see the four operations on the top um, in kind of like a film strip. Um, we have the product on the table. We're actually going to remove the table just because it kind of gets in the way during the, the creation of the, the uh, instructions. So we're going to hide that, bring everything back up in. Um, and uh, then we're going to select everything at the top. So we need to separate this out so it would look like what it will look like when it comes onto that workstation. So it doesn't come on, obviously, fully assembled, because that's the whole point. What we're doing is we're kind of doing the disassembly so that we can prepare it to show the people how to assemble it. So we separate the top off. We also pull off uh, one of the sponge filters, this on the back of it, the air filter. Um, we're also going to pull out some of the screws. Uh, so here we're going to drop down those screws. And you'll see that we've got a camera up here. Um, we're working on the first step, the first uh, uh, set of operations. Um, and we're going to set the retainer. We can also color these things so that they're easier for people to see. So um, we're going to set the bottom of this to kind of a transparent so people can see where the screws go. And we're going to put the top in yellow so it's very clear um, what, the, uh, what it is. So we can basically alter, even though we've got the same geometry, we can alter the look and feel to make you know, the best contrast, the best, best viewing for the operators as they're doing the work. Um, so now we're going to add on a few labels. Um, so as we on, add on these labels, they're just the labels. Um, you can actually manually modify them, but these are the labels for the parts themselves. Um, we've saved that view. Um, so now if we look over here, we've got two different views going on. We've saved that view as a top view. Um, now what we're going to do is show what it's like to actually do part of the assembly. Um, so once again, we turn it over. So this is going to be the step where we actually attach the top to the bottom. Uh, so we put the top down on it before I put it down, but we need to show how to put the screws in. Um, so we're going to filter some of the variants and we're going to pull out those screws. And there we go. So the screws are shown. We can move them out to any height. We can even also move them off to the side if they're obscuring something else. Um, and then we can update that view uh, and name the views appropriately. So the upper enclosure, how do you attach the upper enclosure is the first step. And view number two is securing it to the uh, to the base. So we've got it turned over. We're showing how we put in the screws. Now with that, we also want to show how to actually insert at some point this uh, filter back in. So we pulled out filter. If you remember earlier uh, in this demo, we kind of pulled that uh, sponge filter out. Here we're going to use some iconography to move the filter back in. Um, we don't want to necessarily do it with words because words have to be translated. So if you've got multiple manufacturing sites, for example, one in China, one in Mexico, one in Sweden, you want to have as little text as possible. Um, so you want to basically indicate to the person what operations have to be done. Now, in some cases, you will need to have text in your uh, assembly instructions. We can have text in assembly instructions, and they are rich text. So you can make things bold, you can make them red, highlight things that really need to be highlighted. They're either dangerous or um, make it you know, so it's very readable. Set the, link, the name of those uh, uh, sequences. Um, there we go. Now we see what the uh, overall enclosure is. So now if we look at the left-hand side, we've actually gone through, we've done basically all of the work instructions. We have some of the photos in here to show the person who's assembling what it should look like, what the tools they should be using, and also where to find, for example, the serial number and attach the serial number. Um, now, one of the other things we can do is we can put in instructions on how to gather information. Because during the assembly process, of course, you want to gather information about how it's being assembled. Um, so, for example, the torque, um, uh, you want to record the serial number that's been assigned to that unit, et cetera. You want to be able to tell the people, tell the uh, assembly operators that, that those are operations that they must do at every time. So now we've generated, so the last step that we did just there was generate the XSL. This is a web browser, so we generate just standard XSL. So we have the uh, uh, text on the right-hand side. We have the serial number collection information, the enclosure torque that's been tightened to. Uh, we have multiple views, so we can look through the different views. So this is how an operator might step through the process of assembling the product. Um, and that's all in HTML, so it can be read over a standard browser.